What's up? Let's Everybody gets to go home, huh? Just hit me today that we're leaving tomorrow. Seems like we had another. Just got here. One of the keys for, for Kevin tonight is that 35 pitch second inning. You only gave up the one run, held the lead, and then seemed to get rolling after that. Yeah, that's what uh, Wally and I were talking about as the game ended. That was probably one of the keys of the game. It looked like, uh, and the other key was coming right back in there and scoring three. But uh, yeah, the old bent but didn't break. Showed a lot of moxie in that inning. Get through there. It's that time of year where you're, you know, individual stuff kind of goes away. You're trying to keep your team engaged. You know, Kevin does all the time, but that was a big game. We were really, we played real well defensively tonight. Chris made a big double play. JJ made a play up the middle that not many shortstops make. John had a couple good plays. Matt made a great play in the last inning. That's a hard play for a catcher. We always talk about the maturation process with the young pitchers. I mean. Kevin, can he look at that second inning? Can he look at that this game the way he kind of moved on from that and kind of built from it? Yeah, that that's that's a good narrative. But you know, every every game, Dan, is a different challenge. I mean, every situation you're on the road. It's hot. It's cold. It's windy. It's I mean, there's different hitters. There's different. It's just can't hurt. But you know, he's had that. He's he's done this before. It's not the first time he's ever answered a challenge and. Uh, you know, he had a short alley last time out, so um, he had really good command as fastball. It's really started getting strike one. That's a really good offensive team, and uh, Kevin and Dylan really pitched well last two nights. So did our bullpen. Daring um, had a big eighth inning for us. Thank you. Um, Cole Hamels, I think he lost two games since last August 7th. I mean, he's just, he's been terrific. And your team hasn't really scored a ton of runs since the All-Star break, and yet you beat two real high quality pitchers here. And and you had to have they seem to have done that a lot over the last couple of years, kind of stepping up against this kind of pitcher. Is there a reason for that? Well I think the step ups come from the our pitcher. You know, you know those guys runs are gonna be at a premium. And um, our guys you know, you gotta be ready to go first inning. I mean he that's, that's probably one of the few really poor you know, poor pitches he he made all night. But you know, you can uh, you can give in to what conventionality says it should be like or you can compete and look at it as an opportunity to present yourself real well to uh, to your team and you know to the opposition uh, and one that may not look good on paper but uh, I mean Hamill's having a great year you could like I said before the game you can make a case for him being the leading candidate for Cy Young but it uh, wasn't like we beat him up or anything and you know, we had one shot at it and we took advantage of it and and um, our pitching made it hold up and the defense you mentioned Darren's eighth inning. What are you seeing differently now from him versus, say, before he went on the disabled list? Oh, he's healthy. He's healthy. He had a couple plays last two nights. You know, he had the jump in the air at night. He, he had a stop and start on a cover in first base, which was one I was really looking at last night, where, you know, when you when you decel with that leg, that's usually when you get get a feel for where he is. And you know, I think his last, you know, probably three outings he, uh, before he went on the DL, he was fighting it, hoping that – you know, it would uh, quiet down, but we stay away from some at that last day. We could tell he just was, wasn't able to pitch at the level we knew he was capable of. But sometime Darren, that's good enough. But it just wasn't with a long season. You know, he's been big since we got him back. He's kind of picked up where he left off when he was healthy. You guys have played so well at home. I think you've only lost two series and you've beat a lot of really good teams. I mean, what is it about this team that makes them – so good at I don't know. I, I can't. You know, I hadn't thought about it a lot. I just, you know, we get off this road trip. We'll have played, I think, seven or eight more games on the road, and we'll at home. And we know at the end of the year we're going to play the same at home and away. And, um, you know, if you act like that's a given, then it goes away. And if you act like not winning enough on the road is something that's going to happen all year, then that becomes something. We, we just don't dwell on those things. You take each game and. And you know, there's been times we sat in this room over the last two or three years and said our record wasn't very good at home. What are we going? What is that all about? If I knew, it's not that easy just to dial it up. But um, you know, it's all about the body of work. You know, not just if you're not going to play particularly well at home, and we're capable of play, I mean, on the road. Then you got to play real well at home. It's just, uh, you know, we've we've played some good games on the road too. Two of the last three games you've played have been against really good teams and been really tight, playoff caliber type games between two great teams. Are those are those helpful or are they just a win? Um, 
it kind of verifies what you know. It's like I said the other day, we, we're playing some good teams, really. And when you look at our schedule, you know, top-rated schedule the rest of the way. I mean, you know, our, our guys are pretty good too. You know, they enjoy um, you know the competition. They don't shirk from it, and they uh, they like people telling you that you shouldn't be able to do it. You know, they like proving people wrong, and uh, they've done that for quite a while here.